Good morning or good afternoon yet guys. Welcome back to our vlog. So today I'm going to feature my Nespresso machine. I'm gonna show you real quick how easy you can operate your Nespresso machine. As you can see, it's on my back over here. There you go. It was given by one of my generous friend, Brooklyn. So I've been wanting to have a machine like this before. But I'm kind of hesitant to buy it because this one, like I guess the cheapest you can have, like when it's on sale, it was like 160 with a frother. But you know, like decent price or regular price will gonna make you spend about $200 for these. But you know, if you really like Starbucks coffee, then this is all worth buying for. So let's go check it out. Okay, real quick, this is the box. Um, it's Nespresso Virtua Next. So this is the capsule. It's different from the regular Keurig that you're using, the K-Cups. This is different. For each, um, you know, capsule, it costs like $1 or $1.10. It depends on the type. This is the actual machine. This one is not included, of course. It's called Nespresso Mugs. And this one is included. It's called a Milk Frother and that's about it um this is the actual box it can uh, it comes with a manual there you go and let's proceed to the actual machine so the actual machine is this one this is my old keurig all right you can make a very nice and smooth and creamy coffee within 10 minutes using this machine so this one is all attached to each other. There is where you put a, um, a water. This is the water dispenser. Make sure this one is, you know, full because it won't gonna produce any coffee without any water. Once in a while it get dried up, so you have to refill this one with water. So when you refill it water, simply detach this one like this, and then, and then you can put it back like this. You can take the lead off or you can pour water on there and then put it back and this is the milk frother this is a very um, user-friendly tool there you go inside there's only one button that you're gonna you know press when you want to make a froth or a frappe so this one is included where you like put on the holes where your mug or cup will gonna be sitting when you're making coffee either here or whether here if you're making a little cup or one shots of um, espresso, espresso or cappuccino then you put it over here okay that's just, this is the lowest one but normally since i'm just making a regular 230 ml of coffee then you can put it at the very bottom there you go so by the way before we start making coffee this one comes in a rose gold black and rose gold design if you see the bottom this is also rose gold there you go it comes on a chrome black white it comes on different colors so let's proceed for making on making coffee these are my ingredients so of course if you want a regular creamer any creamer will do um half and half if you want to you know make your coffee less carbohydrates or you know less fattening of course you can have caramel syrup there's a lot of brands for caramel syrup you're gonna be needing whipped cream if you want to add flavor and of course your mug or cup this one is I'm going to work so I need one with a cover and this one you can also use a syrup zero calories salted caramel to make it sweeter but this one of course good for diabetic people or if you're kind of health conscious then skinny syrup is good for you i forgot to tell you when you buy the machine they will give you a sample size box well it's not a sample size but it comes in a you know different flavors of capsule that you can try on and you know start making your own coffee these are the types of the coffee um, you can download the Espresso app and you can see a lot of options in there and you can order a capsule and machine and all accessories from the Espresso app that you can download on your phone, like what I said. So this are, there's only a few left. 
We've been drinking coffee every day, twice a day, because it was so good. The capsule will tell you there's a barcode, and it will tell you how much coffee it will gonna produce. For this one, it's 414 ml. And if you want like shots, two shots or something, and more more milk or more creamer, this one has will produce little coffee, 40 ml, and so on and so forth. The smaller, you know, the dent is, you know, the smaller amount of coffee it will going to produce. And of course, it has different strengths of coffee too. All right. All right. So for our sample, I'm going to choose this one. I'm going to choose a regular size coffee a regular mug coffee, which is 230 ml. So let's proceed. Go with this one first. Um, if you're going to open it, you have to, you know, swipe it on the going to the right which is unlocked it will open and of course you will put your capsule this way when you lock it press it downward and then go back press it or slide it towards left says locked and then this one will blink when it stops blinking then it's ready to make coffee so this one doesn't actually fit unless you're making a regular mug or cup size then I'll take it this one out and then put it here. So it's not linking anymore. So it means it's ready to make coffee. You press it. There you go. You can hear the sound. It really warms up really, really fast. So it, you don't have to spend much time making your coffee when you're, you know, rushing to go to work every day. There you go. Let's, let's proceed to the frother so just plug it in and then pour your creamer or your some people use a protein shake um, this one is a regular half and half from Costco you can use anything or you can mix up creamer in half and half and then of course you have to cover it and you only have one button to press and then it will start working and make a froth for you like this there you go, and it will turn off by itself. So you'll know when your froth is ready. There you go. Let's go over to our um, coffee. So this one is actually a lot. There you go, it's almost done. And if you wanna add, it depends on the strength or how sweet you like, you can add maybe one teaspoon or two teaspoons of skinny syrup, or you can add caramel syrup it depends on how you like you can experiment it's very very easy this skinny syrup make sure you don't put too much because it will really make your coffee really really sweet there you go coffee is ready and as soon as the red light turned off then your froth is ready there you go see the foam Pour it on your coffee. There you go. It looks so nice and good. I think we made a lot of froth. So it's over full overflowing now. There you go. All right. And you can add some caramel syrup if you like, or if you want some iced coffee, you can put ice on it instead. And there you go. And you can add like cinnamon powder and all, and there you go. Your Starbucks Frappuccino is ready. There you go, you gotta taste the coffee. It's so like too much foam, but I like it. Mm. It's super good. Mm, it's like having Starbucks in your own house. So thanks for watching guys. If you have any questions, feel free to drop some comments below section and don't forget to subscribe. Bye guys. Enjoy your coffee.